Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthly map spread for the sign of Leo, my lions, sun, moon, rising and Venus to all the Leos. Happy, happy birthday guys. This is your month going on right now. Wonderful. Guys, I know it's already mid-August and I'm still doing the monthly map. There's something unforeseen that just cropped up. Yet, I am very much committed to finishing at least the monthly, so bear with me. This is a general reading. Please remember, energies can be the worst. Time is fluid. So take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive. If you're here for the first time, welcome aboard. Welcome to my channel, and if you've been kind enough to come back, thank you so very much. Welcome back. Leo's one more shuffle. We should be ready. Monthly maps came in June. And this is for us basically looking into the month's energies through a wider lens. And see how they interact with each other. All right. Wow. Look at you. Very focused. Working hard. Planting seeds. Wow. Very work mode you are in Leo's trying to work on things that matter trying to work on things that are gonna turn into something huge tomorrow right now maybe not but you are still keeping an eye on that bigger riper fruit that's very unlike you you don't have that kind of patience <laughs> but clearly it seems like this time you know that you need to it's like the inner you is like let's go let's do it and and then you know you are trying to tame that inner very happy cat that relax we got to do a lot of work there's a lot of groundwork that needs to be done ready to take that flight preparing yourself for that there is the sense of eagerness urge but at the same time you pulling yourself back very unlike you very unlike you wow look so much air here four of air that is taking a breather taking a time out maybe evaluating the entire scene right now nine of air ten of air dropping something from the past letting go of some thing or someone or some energy this is just letting go and freeing yourself letting that weight off you what is this my fire signs are not fired up at all i did saggies and that was full of water just a little fire here and there but man and here I see all air air and earth ah look at that queen of fire taking that time out to rejuvenate yourself and light yourself up from inside this letting go this freeing yourself from the past baggage is helping you getting back to who you are the chirpy the flamboyant you the confident you the confident you yes wow look at that beautiful five of water look at this this is all processing something from the past letting go that whatever grief whatever pain whatever this is this is processing it flowing through it acknowledging it and letting it go yeah no running away no point running away give me more for the seven of fire eight of earth very focused seven of earth eight of earth leos it seems like some of you definitely working on something that is okay i do not know what the hell is wrong with the angle i think my daughter just came in the room 
and move the entire thing didn't really see sorry about that leos all right this is a little better than before isn't it okay yeah focused focused on something that is bringing in a lot of fire back in life you know that spark of self-belief that passion is coming in back again and you're very focused and you're like this time around if i have to work it's how it is you know let us get something nine of fire yeah man you're working through this looking into whatever this grief whatever this letting go energy is you are illuminating your mind your heart to acknowledge it there is no suppressing that anymore this is lighting it up so that you can see it clearly so that you can address it clearly and once you do that off it goes off it goes and this takes a lot of strength this takes a lot of balls to face something that you know is something difficult and do it voluntarily not an easy task and guess where it is taking you towards peace this has been a constant theme with your fellow fire signs making peace with the past these came for your sagis too yep but i feel that you are way ahead in this process of letting go that you are more in tune with what you need to do and your focus is more on the present and the future than on dealing with the past in some ways it's going hand in hand and it makes all the sense to you to address this six of fire that is you being on a watch that you know is going to bring in so much success this is full of hope wow leo's beautiful so much fire here we started with some grounding energy a lot of truth here but man the way you are you know coming back up getting your spark back is beautiful seven of waters and life is going to show you so many paths it's going to give you so many more choices it's going to show you so many more ways of dealing with things three of earth this is you working upon yourself wow wonderful leo's beautiful let's clarify this is very very lovely flow of energy that i feel for you it's not very usual for leos to you know have their spark and still be very wise and stable you really have a grip over that beast inside of you you're like this time around i'm gonna be the wiser me this time around i'm gonna be like that king this time around, I'm the Mufasa. I'm not the Simba, you know. Beautiful. Seven of Earth. Let's clarify how we are starting. Look, working upon your emotions. Being that very stable you. Processing it in a way things need to be addressed. Not in some impulsive dramatic you which you can be you know that i'm a leo myself so i know <laughs> nine of cups with that nine of air you are spreading your wings to make your dreams come true and now you realize for me to have that for me to have my dreams come true i need to address a few things that i have not yet been doing and letting go of all that 
has been more like a load on my soul and that whatever pain that the past has brought I am ready to be healed that four of air yeah you are ready to be healed from that sense of abandonment from that sense of lack from that sense of insecurity from that sense of pain in some ways you are ready to heal yourself wonderful leos ten of pentacles coming with the ten of air beautiful beautiful times are awaiting you success is awaiting you happy vibes awaiting you once you let go we have 10 10 this is wrapping it up and this is looking at a very prosperous future let us go to the queen of air oh lovers so in tune with yourself so in love with your new wiser self this could also be a lot of passion coming in those who are into a committed relationship this is a lot of passion coming in this could be you going for some nice long birthday weekend you guys having a lot of fun but all in all to be honest leos for most of you it feels like you're back in love with yourself how beautiful is that and we are addressing this five of water look make king peace these exact two cards came for sagis while they are trying to address the pain from the past this is being objective to deal with this grief and you are i feel they are on the same path as you are on the same bridge a little behind you you have definitely crossed a major chunk of that bridge you're almost at the end you can see that bright future you're working towards it there's positivity coming in you have learned your lessons you become a wiser you and you are very objectively dealing with this and making peace with it six of air coming twice is all about wrapping things up from the past having the closures making peace with it and moving forward and how you have done that or doing that is by acknowledging it is by looking in the eye of this whatever that has been suppressed for so long knight of pentacles yeah you have taken the time to process this this is a beautiful healing process that has happened leos my lions this is not easy for you i know having that kind of patience to work through things but you showed that you have that patience to work through things because this was essential this was crucial for you to get back to yourself for you to have a new kickstart for you to make peace for you to focus now more on the future than on the past for you to have that confidence to move on seven of fire with conviction that you have addressed everything that is needed hangman coming up with the seven of wands that is knowing that you did everything that was needed for you to address this this is odin hanging upside down in search for wisdom craving for wisdom this is what you've been doing the process has been tough that was not easy for odin to hang upside down seven nights and seven days and then gouge out his own eye with his own hands to finally gain that inner wisdom so yes the process wasn't easy <laughs> all right and it took time it took longer than you have wanted it to be but you are making peace with it and you're moving forward you are moving forward with the sense of calm that comes along because finally you are like no i need to address that i really need to there is a sense of a lot of quiet like you have 
relaxed your heart and your mind. Eight of Earth, Eight of Pentacles for my Leos. Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Earth. Three of Pentacles. Look, working, 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 working. So focused on what you are doing right here. The seeds that you have planted. You are working through things. You are forging yourself through fire. You are so determined. This is so much of determination coming in. Yeah. So much of determination coming in here. Beautiful. Let us go to the six of fire. Six of wands comes along with the ten of wands. Dropping that past burden. Gaining that clarity. Managing things with ease because there is a new journey to start with whatever is still here in the present and you are beautifully balancing it you have that clarity very much so and that is why you are heading towards your success that is why you are headed towards your victory towards that sense of achievement we have the seven of cups with the six of air look seven of cups coming twice life is going to offer you so much more there is so much more that is yet to come is what the universe is telling you seven of water seven of cups one more time knight of swords and when life offers you you are gonna grab that because you will not have any hesitation there will be no energy blocking you and your path you would be able to take that leap you have prepared yourself you've spread your wings and it is going towards what you have wished for and all of this has been a huge, huge, huge learning. And you have worked through it. So beautiful. Leos, you really have turned so, so wise. This is Simba turning into Mufasa. Seriously. This is Simba finally roaring. Finally claiming his rightful place of being a king let us wrap this beautiful spread with a guidance message from yogic path oracle deck spirit final word for the spread in front of us for my leos for the month of august please You guys have really, really evolved. There's a lot of transformation that has happened. You have turned into such wiser, stronger versions of you. Look. What do we have? We have Brahma. We have Kappa. And we have Muldhara. This is Root Chakra. This is you finally Finding that grounding. Let us read Brahma first. Oh, I'm told go the other way around. First read Muladhara, then Kappa, and at the end Brahma. I'm going to do that. Muladhara, root chakra. You have arrived in a place where you are very grounded in life. Seven of Earth we started with. Very much at peace with yourself. Your ideal home is in the process of manifestation and you are setting roots where you are. This reflects the deep healing work you have done to undo the ancestral ties that were previously holding you back. Look, this is what we have been talking about. Thank you so very much, Spirit, for confirming this. When you heal your personal life, you heal the lives of all those who who came before you and all who came after you. Ancestral hardships such as poverty, immigration, war, slavery and abuse have come to an end. 
and you have set the path for the new way of being for all of your ancestors to come. Thank you for doing this work and anchoring deeply within. This is only when you heal the root that the tree can grow. Lovely. We have been talking about how much time you have invested in this healing process. Wow. I just absolutely love it when spirit reconfirms it through this. Let's go to Kappa. The earthy dosha, grounding, nurturing and heavy. See, we have been working on this, right? You are grounded into earth's energy and carry its subtle calmness. I told you there is this peace, there is this sense of calmness that I feel. Which makes others naturally gravitate towards you. You bring peace, understanding and comfort to your community and are the shoulder anyone can lean on. You embody Earth's wisdom and are anchored to her vast life force. You may have created a life or are envisioning one that will bring you great contentment and stability, a true home surrounded by people you love. You do not need to search for more. The deepest peace you will find is where you are. Just remember never to become too attached to anything as all is temporary. That is the wisest advice one can ever have. Like be present, but don't be attached. It's like detached compassion. Be present in the moment. No bullshit from the past to carry no anxiety from the future just being there rooted grounded that's it let us read brahma brahma is one of the trifecta that we have the three murti brahma vishnu and shiva yeah he is the creator of all the god of creation it is time to create Brahma, the creator of the universe and all beings, has come to you with the message that now is the time to bring that idea to fruition. What is that idea you have been sitting on but haven't taken action? Now is the time to plant that seed. Oh, thank you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Planting seeds. We started with it. Now is the time to plant that seed into earth and water it with your intention so it sprouts to life, benefiting all those around you. Brahma's rosary symbolizes the time cycle through which the world moves from creation to sustenance, from sustenance to dissolution, and from dissolution to new creation. Which cycle are you on? I feel very much so you are working through that dissolution and moving towards that new creation and planting those seeds and what a beautiful beautiful time for you guys it's just absolutely incredible all the very best for whatever this new creation is that you are working on whatever this new path that you're going to walk on because clearly there is a lot of success and abundance coming your way and on that beautiful note my leos i'm going to take your leave i thank you all for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods